this video, we will look at the meaning of the equal sign and common misconceptions students have about the equal sign. Symbols such as the plus and minus signs are used to represent mathematical concepts or ideas. When teaching a math concept, young children should first be taught using concrete objects and pictures. Once children understand the idea at hand, they may then be introduced to the corresponding symbols. The concept of equal or equality is an important yet complex idea for children. If the equal symbol is introduced too early, students may quickly learn misconceptions about its meaning. For this reason, Common Core and North Carolina math standards do not formally require the use of the equal sign until first grade. What does this symbol represent? Here are some common definitions given by students. Take a moment to pause the video and think about which of these correctly describe the meaning of the equal sign. Now, let's cross off the incorrect definitions. Please note the word same was crossed out because terms on either side of the equal sign might be the same amount or the same value, but they might not look exactly the same. Now let's take a look at some common misconceptions around the equal sign. Take a moment to pause the video again and think about what number goes in the box here. Less than 10% of students at any grade level had the answer correct. There were three approaches students took when solving this problem. First, a small percentage of students knew the equal sign represents a balanced relationship between the amounts to its left and right. They correctly found the missing number to be seven. The students who incorrectly answered this problem thought of the equal sign as an operator or an indicator to do something. Some students mistakenly thought the equal sign meant the answer comes next, so they added 8 plus 4 and wrote the number 12. Then, other students weren't sure what to do with the numbers to the right of the equal sign, so they used all the numbers, adding them and getting the number 17. Why were these mistakes made? Students generalized based on past experiences. As early as pre-K, students are being shown equations. They are encouraged to believe that the equal sign means, here comes the answer. Rushing to show students equations can be detrimental. Additionally, in grades three through five, students often use this calculator here, and the equal sign also has the word enter above it as an indicator to do something. Because of these reasons, students only accept the equal sign in an equation when it contains an operation symbol such as a plus sign before the equal sign. If there is ever an operation symbol to the right of the equal sign, students become confused. When students were asked if this equation is written correctly, they often answered no. This is because students believe the answer must come last. However, this equation is indeed written correctly. Here, the equal sign represents a relationship between the six and the five plus one. It shows that the six is the same amount as the five plus one. On the other hand, when students were shown this image and asked if it is correct, students likely said yes. That is because it clearly shows that both amounts on the left and the right side are the same amount or equal. It is not that students don't understand equality. Rather, it's the use of the equal sign that causes confusion. The equal sign is simply a convention or a symbol that shows a relationship between the amounts to its left and to its right. In order to eliminate misconceptions around the equal sign, we must instruct students in such a way that they see the equal sign to have a relational meaning, representing a balance or a relationship between the quantities to its left and to its right. Finally, we must avoid further misconceptions by properly and intentionally using the equal sign 
For example, only use the equal sign in equations. This box here shows improper use of the equal sign. Johnny may be eight years old, but this one person is not equal to eight. While this box here shows a student solving this equation step by step, their use of the equal sign is incorrect. If you look closely, it appears that two plus three is equal to five plus seven, which is not true.